This is one of my all-time favorites. My dad's Gong Chong Hai Ginger and Scallion Crab. And it might just be the easiest holiday crowd pleaser you can make. It's not as hard as you might think it is. And with just a couple ingredients, you can make restaurant quality crab right at home. We'll start by learning how to prepare a live crab. We'll clean the crab with a sponge and water. What type of crabs are best for this dish? My dad always recommends using live crab because it's the freshest, but you can use whatever is available to you. Here, he's using mud crab, but you can use any kind of crab or even crab legs. If you want sustainable seafood options, check out the Seafood Watch website at seafoodwatch.org. My dad puts the crab in the freezer for 30 minutes to knock it out. Meanwhile, we'll move on to our super important aromatics. With a smaller knife, we'll carefully scrape the skin off to peel the ginger. You can choose to slice the ginger or smash a larger piece. We'll first smash the white parts of the green onion, then slice into roughly two inch segments. We'll smash and peel our cloves with garlic. Now we'll create the amazing sauce. For the sauce, we'll use two tablespoons of oyster sauce, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, one teaspoon of dark soy sauce, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, and a half teaspoon of sugar. Then we'll mix. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. After 30 minutes in the freezer, the crab is ready to be cut. We'll first rip off the shell of the crab, pouring out the liquid inside. Then we'll forcefully chop off the legs at the highest joint with the cleaver. We'll cut the body right in half. Then cut those halves into smaller pieces. We'll continue cutting in the same way with the other half of the body. 
If you like cooking, try not cooking for once. Cook Unity is the first chef to you meal delivery service. Especially if you're a busy working parent like me, it's perfect because unlike other services, the meals arrive freshly cooked, not frozen, and all you need to do is heat it up. And if you're skeptical, the meals are actually really good and the chefs are legit. I love Korean food. So in this week's order, I got a bunch of dishes from Esther Choi, who you might recognize as a finalist on the recent Iron Chef. So far, my favorite is her beef bulgogi ramen. It was ready in three minutes, it was really tasty, the noodles had a lot of bounce, there was seasonal kimchi, and there was lots of bulgogi and 54 grams of protein if you're about those gains. Every week you get to pick anywhere from four to 16 meals from a bunch of different cuisines and dietary preferences, like paleo, gluten-free, vegan, and etc. The subscription is also super flexible, letting you pause, skip weeks, or cancel at any time. Obviously, we love to cook here at Made With Lao, but for me, sometimes I just don't have the energy with the craziness of kids and running a business. So if you can relate and you want a break from cooking and cleaning, you can go to cookunity.com slash madewithlao or click the link in our description and use the code madewithlao50 to get 50% off your first order of Cook Unity meals. Well, these are you can use a cutting board, you can use a cutting board. What is this? This is a cutting board. How do you pick the best crabs? Well, I have a saw them. The worker inside, they use the basket to, to pick out, I think, five. So we pick the big five, one. Five, five. Mmm. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this one, I'll go to this one. 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 With the back of the cleaver, we'll smash the shell slightly on each leg. Or you could use the side of your cleaver like this. For the claws, we'll cut through the joints. Again, we'll smash these with our cleaver. Shannon from Patreon asks, how do you get the most meat out of your crab? You have to use the crab cooker, yeah. So you, you take out the meat after you crab the, the shell. That's easier. Sometimes I use the fork to take the out. We'll remove the crab stomach here. Now we'll chop off some of the bottom shell. For the body and claw pieces, we'll coat them with about three tablespoons of cornstarch. Make sure all the sides are lightly coated, but no need to be too thorough here. For over a thousand years, Chinese people sought after crab as a delicacy. From high society poets to scholars, many have written of their love for crab. We love this quote from a Song Dynasty novel. A crab claw in one hand, a wine glass in the other, floating in a pool of wine is enough for a lifetime. Our recipe today, Gong Chong Tao Hai in Cantonese, is a humble sequel to our crab love letters. Just like in Cantonese seafood dishes like our lobster yimin, ginger and scallion are popular ingredients used to complement and enhance their natural flavors. We'll add four tablespoons of oil to the hot wok, making sure to spread it around with a spatula. When the oil is rippling hot, we'll add in our coated crab pieces a couple at a time. Okay. 
咩嘢等我啊？啲油，等你攞啲油上去啲蟹度啦嘛，因為個油唔係俾咁多油落去嘅，你知道嘛？好嘅，慢火。After about a minute, we'll lower the heat and flip our pieces. See, see, turn the flame, turn the flame. Look, red, see, see. Ah, ah. So, so much flame, see. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Can you try this? 炸香咗嚟煮煮其他嘢，好似煮美風糖蟹啊嗰啲，咪炸到香曬嘅，咁都係俾啲蒜蓉。好啦。After a minute of cooking this side, we can take out the crab. 好。你睇到？如果煮熟嘅啦，將啲油倒翻落嚟呢度。We'll set aside the crab and pour out the leftover oil. Okay. 好啦，如果開翻猛火，俾啲油上去，俾翻呢啲油。We'll add back in about a tablespoon of the oil, then the garlic and ginger. 蒜頭，一啲姜，炒香啲姜，猛火炒香啲姜蒜蒜頭先。啲葱頭。We'll cook those till fragrant, or about 20 seconds. Then follow it with the crab legs. We'll stir fry them with the aromatics for about 30 to 40 seconds. You in China have you cooked fish? China has not cooked fish. What kind of fish? Fish. Fish. Can you use this to cook? Ah, fish. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Then add a tablespoon of cooking wine. Now we'll add in a cup of water and the sauce we mixed earlier. After putting the shell on top, we'll cover the wok with the lid and let it cook for about three minutes. I also wanted to make a special shout out to thank all of our wonderful Patreon supporters for helping bring this video to life. If you enjoy our videos and are interested in supporting us directly, head on over to patreon.com slash madewithlao to learn more. While it simmers, we'll mix up some slurry. We'll mix together one teaspoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of water. After three minutes of cooking with the lid on, we'll uncover. First, we'll set aside the shell. Look at that! We'll stir around our ingredients, then have a taste test. Then we'll add in our slurry while gently stirring. We'll add the green onions. Oh my god. Okay, We'll add a teaspoon of sesame oil. Can you do this recipe with lobster? Ah, my friend, you just use the onion and the garlic. We'll add in a teaspoon of oil and mix it in to give the sauce a shiny appearance. My dad adds another two tablespoons of water to get his preferred consistency and amount of sauce. Okay, time for. When serving, my dad adds a bit of sauce to coat the inside of the shell. Then, with the pieces arranged on the plate roughly where they originally were on the body, we'll put the shell back on top so it resembles a crab. You want a Devin? You want Devin's hat or you want Devin? <laughs> YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right.